Why don't you start by talking about how you first heard about your Aunt Ronnie? Um, when I was a little kid, um, it's, it's a really hard subject to bring up. You can't really tell people, oh, sweetie, your aunt who you're named after died in a tragic car bombing. It's like, I kind of found out kind of by, um, well, I saw pictures of her when I was younger on my grandmother's walls. Like, so, I mean, I'm like, grandma, who's this girl there with my uncle and my dad? And you can't just say, oh, she doesn't exist. She's like, oh, that's Ronnie. And I mean, I found out what had happened to her when I was about 10, 11. And my grandma kind of let it slip, and I guess that's kind of where I really figured out what happened. So. And what did that mean to you when you heard that? I mean, I like broke down crying because I had previously heard that kind of like she lived somewhere far, like Florida, or some reason we couldn't visit her. But like, kind of hearing that and kind of realizing that there's really awful things that happen in this world and kind of hit so close was kind of like the like the realization I'm not untouchable, which is pretty terrifying. You felt that you were not untouchable anymore when you were only 10 or 11? Yeah, because I mean, when you hear about these awful things, it's like never, it's never right next to you. It's never the person you know. But then this is somebody who I very well could have known who has my blood and like whose name I share. Like it could have very easily been me if I was around at that time period. Your name is Rebecca. Yeah. And your aunt's name was Ronnie. How mm -hmm. is it you share her name? Well, um, her Hebrew name was Reza, Reza, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Reza. Um, and mine's Reza Haya, which means Rose of Life. And basically, hers, I guess, means Rose. But um, in the Jewish religion, Hebrew name is really what matters in terms of renaming your kid. But um, as a show of honor, a lot of parents name their kids with the first name or the first letter of a, of, um, a loved one who passed on in order to kind of like make the link more apparent. And are there others in your family that who named their kids after Ronnie as well? Um, my cousin Jacob's Hebrew name is something with a race. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, and my cousin Rachel, well, I mean, her name starts with an R, so it comes from there. And there's a couple others, but I cannot think of them off the top of my head. As you grew older, did you start thinking about history and politics? Well, yeah, because the more I learned about my aunt, the more like fascinating she kind of became. Because she was so young, she had these really big ideas, and she would go out there, and like she'd fight for what she believed in. I'm like, you know, I want to do that too, because I mean, I'm named after her, so in part, I'm supposed to kind of share a part of her legacy. So having um, an influence of sorts kind of made that more apparent, and made me want to get more involved and really make a difference. What does that mean to you? And you're in high school now. Uh, I'm actually senior in college. I mean, not senior. Not, oh gosh, freshman, freshman. Aging myself a bit up there. Right. You're a freshman in college. Yes, I am. When you say you want to get out there and change the world like Ronnie did, what kind of things are you thinking about wanting to do? Um. Well, let's see. There's so many issues of social justice, but not just in terms of international relations, but here at home. There are so many issues of racial divide and religious divides and like the growing trend of anti-Semitism which has begun to pick up recently. And I think maybe the important thing now is just kind of being willing to start these conversations and maybe being willing to have conversations with people. Like not the real kind of ones people want to have more difficult conversations, that's kind of where it starts. And basically building that in order to kind of create a better reference point of understanding for people. Because people think these ideas of race and class are something we develop and we can easily change, but in fact it's so ingrained in people's consciousness that it really takes time to unbuild it and to unpack it because you're going to keep going back to these same ideas. So I'm going to start by trying to have these conversations and trying to create groups in which these can happen and eventually hopefully it can spin into a bigger political movement.